there again. Me making a snow queen look, rocking a snow queen bun. And let's see if I can bring you closer so you can see. Glitter mascara. It's the mascara that actually inspired me being a frozen queen. I wanted to give a shout out to all those people who are freezing their tuckets off. Um, me here in Arizona where it's 65 degrees during uh, the evening. I feel bad for you, so I thought I'd cool myself off. If you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Hey y'all. I um, was inspired by a dollar mascara. And I believe it's from e.l.f. And it's all glittery. I was inspired. What happened was I thought, well, that would make me look like I was really frozen. And I was like, well, hey, shout out to all the people who are freezing their butts off out there, you know? I'm here in the desert, and it was a balmy 65 at noon. And I actually um, got a little sweaty. So all you guys out in the East Coast, Midwest, freezing your butts off, this is for you. We're going to start with my new primer. This is also going to be a first time use primer thing. Uh, Under Wonder Pore Primer from Perfectly Posh. Um, I was really excited to get this. If you saw my haul, you saw how excited I was to try it. But you know, like a pea size. It goes on really nicely. I might have to give a sample of this to Kim. I'll put it in a little jar for her. See if she likes it. Um, feels nice. Smooth. Feels smooth. Just trying to readjust the camera. It smells really pretty too. So, so far so good. Um, tomorrow I'll wear this under my makeup all day long. So let's get looking like a snow queen. Well, I ran out of this one. My Fit Me, so I went and purchased another one, but I think it was just a little bit more. That's where it is. I guess I could like use the buffing brush to get it out. Let's see. Let's see if that works. No, I like it better on my skin, so I'll scrape that out if I really, really want to. I just got a new one. Repurchase. Because I liked it. And just drawing all over my Snow Queen face. So I'm trying out my uh, Hot Buns bun maker, and actually it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I made a really big bun, which was exciting, because my bun wrap that I use is so tiny. And this one made a nice big one for me, I just set that there. And I really have been enjoying wearing a sock bun. Um, I, I jumped on that bandwagon, I did, I'm sorry. I'm only human. But tonight, I'm going to become a snow queen. Snow queen! I did buy another one of these buffing brushes. I'm a little neurotic. If I really like a product, I want to have a backup. I don't know anybody else like that, do I, Kim? She owns one lipstick in the world and she has a second one of the same color. <laughs> I had such a great time hanging out with my sister-in-law Ashley last night. Was, she's such a pleasure. I mean, she's so funny. I love her. She'd be my friend even if she hadn't married my brother. Just so you know, Ashley. Trying to get some of that zit action covered up. All right, I'm buffed in. I'm gonna use my HD NYX concealer, which I will be repurchasing again soon. Rub that in. Snow Queen. Uh, do you guys in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe movie, the, the new one, where, uh, was it Tilda Swinton? Is that her name? Played the Queen, the Snow Queen. I just thought her makeup was stunning. And she had those white dreads, and I was like, gosh, that makeup artist was on par. I just thought it was so beautiful. She had that white, she has blonde lashes anyway. 
I guess that was so neat. I'm not gonna go with all white lashes. I'm gonna use black lashes, but I'm gonna take my own version of Snow Queen Snow Bunny. Ski Bunny. Alright, that's there. I'm not adding powder. Because there will be plenty of powder in a moment. I am going to take my NARS. Uh, it came in my 500 point thing from Sephora Pro Prime Smud Pr Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer. And get that on my lid. We're going to play with a few brands of eyeshadow today, too, to make this look, just so you know. Just so you know. There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. I think there's a new episode of Big Bang on tonight, and I'm pretty excited about it, except I'm nervous about it because I'm really invested in those characters. Um, and I just don't know what's going to happen to them all. What am I going for? I want to go for a transition shade. So I'm going to use my, um, Blue Had Me at Hello Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to start with this silver shade. And I'm looking for... Okay, and I can't find it. Huh. Well, we're just going to use this Soho London brush. I'm going to use the eyelid shade silver side right here as my transition. It's going to be a pretty shimmery look today, folks. You know what I want to do first, though? I am going to put some NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Pacific on my lash line first. You'll see why. It's an icy, icy lavender. It's such a beautiful color. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my milk. Put that over that. Oh my. <laughs> it's my hubby. And that was George Takei. Back, back, back. Sorry, folks. Interrupt us. There we go, sorry, I was trying to get my phone near me. Blend, 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 blend. Alright, a little bit there. A little bit more up here of my milch. It's kind of whiten out certain areas and leaving certain areas not as white. Just to help with the pigmentation when I set it down since they're pretty shimmery and sheer colors. I'm going to take the silver with that brush and push that over as my crease definer because I'm flat eyed so if I did an all white look I'd be like wall. And I'm not a wall. I may look like a wall. I'm not a wall I swear. Loverly. <clears throat> Excuse my cough again, folks. I have a frame. I probably am. I don't care. No. I am then going to take Madison Street um, from Etsy Cotton. Is that upside down? Kim got me a set of these as a treat, and I don't play with them often enough, so I like to give a little love to all of my makeups. Dipping a filbert brush in it. I think it's from e.l.f. And we're going to go in that base lid part over that lavender it's gonna be hard to see I think BAM! that's what I'm talking about now you can see it pick up some more pigment on the other side There you go. Have it. Have it all. Have it all day. <laughs> Sorry, it's just funny looking. Take the same color and push that up into my brow a little lighter. 
lightly, let less, less pressure on the brush. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And with that same brush, I'm going to take an icy seafoam color from Madison Street and add a little spunk, a little green shimmer. Right there, back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I don't really willow, I'm sorry. I say, Snow Queen. Finally, I'm going to take a little bit of the bluish shade and tap that right here. Getting this iceberg look going. That's right, baby. We like the icebergs. Iceberg. multifaceted. I'm going to take a little bit of that silver again and push that around. It's all a process, folks. Blend a little. Alright, that's stunning. And then I'm going to take some more of that lavender uh, pencil right here. And I'm going to touch you down so you can see more of what I see. Do you see what I see? It's so fun. And I'm going to add a little pink. Carnation with a, another detailed brush by Sonia Kashuk. Right here to the inner tear duct eye area. Sweet! And let's see what else do I want to do. I'm going to work on my cheeks while I think about it. Eyeshadow down! Starting with uh, my Brit Wit blush from MAC. I'm going to grab four. A blush brush. I'm going to take the, uh, let's see, I think it's my, what is it called? It's from MAC. My MAC brushes all have their numbers rubbed off, though. Sorry about it. 116. And I'm going to stipple a little bit on. It's a purplish shade. And then blend a little with my finger. Blend a little with my brush. It's going to be a layered blush because I want it to be icy. And it will be. You'll see. I promise. This brush is old. It's shedding on me. It makes me as a sad. Now I'm going to take, uh, it's called Well Dressed Blush from MAC. Put that more on my Appalachians. And then I'm going to take my Charlotte Ronson Trio palette and with the white shade, put that right over my cheekbone area. It's got silver glitter in it. I'm going to put that in my forehead. Put that on my other cheekbone. Am I shocking? All right. All right, all right, all right. I am 
actually going to now grab a liquid black liner. This one happens to be from Maybelline Line Stiletto. And I'm going to make a line. Right there. Not going to be shy with it, make it a nice big mess here. in there. Fix this line here. See if I can make its sister look like its sister. You know you want it. This month's issue of Mad Magazine has Miley on the cover. <laughs> it's cute. Um, I think I'm going to leave a pale brow. I'm just going to grab her a mascara. And I keep looking at this eye and I want to blend it a little bit more. So I shall. Kind of out and around too. Maybe into the eyebrow area. Maybe a little bit more of that in the eyebrow area. I'm gonna grab some polyester bride from Urban Decay and do just that. Is that weird? Oh, that's brown. I don't want brown. I want black. So let's grab another one for some black mascara to go with that black line. Going for that e.l.f. Sparkle Mascara now. I'm going to do my bottom lashes. I'm going to take a Sephora glitter liner and above the black line I'm add some silver line. I decided I was going to use a little bit of eye brush shaper, so. Just might not as usually as strong as I do. Take that silver mascara. Sparkle brows, sparkle brows, everywhere, sparkle brows, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, 
all the liners are drying right now. So let's work on a lip. How oh, you like that? I don't like them apples. Um, two glosses. This one's by Physicians Formula. Is it? I don't know. It's purple. I'm gonna take some of my milk. My milk. And blend that down with a Q tip. Probably should do that before I put the lip gloss on, but what am I gonna do about it? Nothing. My husband might have just rolled that. Put this on. Real quick, let's see if I can get some lashes on. Lashify! Time to lashify! Oh yeah, lashify. These are my Kiss 11s. He's taken out the recycle like a good hubby. Kiss 11s! Kiss 11s! I still got a snow bun, don't I? I don't like this angle that you're sitting at. It's not so much fun. I got one down, I got one to go. Let's get this puppy on. And push that in. See how this goes. We're painting, we're priming, we're looking sparkly. Oh, I got another lash thing on this one. Setting you down, doing the dude. All right, get in there. I said it's arguing with me right now, but that's okay. I am the master of this conversation. I think. <laughs> it needs something. It does some sparkle. Taking it all the way into the false lashes. I don't recommend this doing if you plan on reusing them false lashes for normal. I have to replace this pair. So. This was like the last hurrah for these babies. There you have it. This is my Snow Queen look. So, um, if you like this look, thank you for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. It ain't easy being green or frozen, but it sure is fun.